Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. So last night I shampooed my hair with the Redken All Soft Shampoo and I went ahead and conditioned and detangled with the Redken All Soft Conditioner. This has really good slip. Love this. I'm going to repurchase this definitely when this bottle is gone. Um, Ulta was recently having a sale like right after Christmas and I was like, damn, I paid full price. Anyway, um, I was supposed to use the Joico K-Pak Deep Penetrating Reconstructor for five minutes, rinse it out, and then follow up with the K-Pak Hydrator Intense Ooh. Treatment. Sorry, this is my dog. Um, for three to five minutes. But I was tired and in pain, so I just mixed the two equal parts and I put it in my hair. I was going to use my hooded bonnet dryer uh, for 30 minutes to like add heat and I fell asleep so yeah hopefully my hair doesn't fall out in the sink but um I'm going to go ahead and re-shampoo right now so I'm going to rinse out the Joyco and then re-shampoo with the Redken also shampoo the reason why I do this is because when you're straightening your hair you want to make sure all products is out of your hair whatever did not penetrate your hair should be rinsed out so just a follow up i always do this so i shampoo once condition deep condition shampoo again um another reason why i'm doing this is because i am still on the hairlicious castor oil challenge i'm sorry the yeah hairlicious castor oil challenge and um i added some jamaican black castor oil to my deep conditioning process and so i want to make sure that whatever didn't penetrate my hair shaft goes down the drain so yeah that's what we're doing now so i did twist my hair up and again i did sleep in this so my hair should be super duper soft because it was super dry so i twisted my hair up so i'm just gonna take the twists out it's only three twists on each side and i'm gonna rinse my hair with warm water my hair does feel soft as you can see I'm very gentle with my hair especially when it's wet so Just going to rinse. Probably won't be able to see my head because of my camera angle.
And by the way, this is a cute pink color. I love the color. So I'm just gonna put this basically on my roots. drag it down my hair but I really want my roots to be super duper clean and this shampoo feels clean or makes my scalp and my hair feel clean but it doesn't strip my hair so that's what I like about it so that's it one wash is all I need to be a natural so that was the cold shot and we're done so take my towel yes I still use towel I'm sorry but I don't want to do the t-shirt thing just yet so I'm still using the towel all right so taking down the towel this is what my hair looks like. Oh my God, it's so soft. Oh, this feels moist. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take my rat tail comb and just make four equal sections. I mean, they don't have to be super duper equal. It's not that deep, but I like to work in sections on this thick hump. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work in sections. Cause this hair is massively thick. As you can see, like my hair was just detangled and everything and now look at it. Good enough for me. I'm just gonna clip each section away so that it's easier for me to work, 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 work. Okay, so my hair is parted in four sections. And I'm gonna start with this section. You can see my popcorn bowl there. I was eating popcorn. 
So I'm going to take the Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract and Metal Foam Seed Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. Girl. I'm going to take that on my hands. It's my first time using it. It's going to take a minute to spray out. Alright, there we go. It's very thick. All right, I guess a quarter size amount would be good for my hair. Smells good. I'm just gonna put that all throughout my hair. And then let's see how this detangling goes, cause. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Just gonna split my hair because I wanna make sure that it is properly detangled before I start to blow dry. This also gives you time for your hair to start to dry, especially if you have 4C hair like me. It gives your hair time to dry so that when you do go in to blow dry it's not that much heat that you're putting on your hair because your hair is not super duper soaking wet and that's why i like to keep the towel on my hair um for a little while i started cooking <laughs> with the towel on my head just to soak up the excess water whatever is going to be stuck in the hair shaft will remain stuck in the hair shaft but you want to make sure that your hair is not super duper soaking wet when you blow dry it's less heat damage because you don't have to keep going over your hair a bunch of times um so yeah less heat it'll be like and done Do it. This is what I do. I just go in with my wide tooth comb, making sure that my leave in, whatever leave in I'm using, this is my first time trying this leave in. It seems really lightweight, but whatever leave in I'm using will be distributed all over the section of hair that I'm working in. Oh, okay, so. I've gone ahead and put in the leave-in conditioner and twisted up each section. So this is how I'm going to blow dry my hair in these little sections. So I am going to show you what I am going to be doing. So I'm gonna go in and take just a squirt of the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. This is also a leave-in conditioner. This feels amazing. So I'm going to put this on my hair. And then I'm going to also spray some of my heat protectant, which is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. Um, it has 450 degree protection, and I use this all the time. If I don't use this, I'll use the other one. What was it called? I forget what it was called. Is it by L'Oreal? No, it's by Tresemme, I believe. Yeah, it's a drugstore brand, but either way, this or the other one, um, it comes with a red cap. I believe it's Tresemme. And then they have one that's um, gray, I believe, with a gray cap. Those are amazing. So yeah, I'm just going to go into each section and put the Redken and the heat protectant onto my hair. 
so that there's no issues with blow drying. No heat damage, no breakage, none of that. So I'm gonna do this to my entire head. And I spray a ton of heat protectant. And this is pretty lightweight, so it's not gonna like make my hair like weight down or anything. Love this heat protectant. I used to use the one from ORS, the that serum. That serum weighs your hair down. Like no matter how little I put, I feel like my hair is very limp. It's never flowy. It looks like I did a silk press with like Dax grease and a hot comb. Like it never comes out right for me. And that's just my experience. So Okay, so the Redken Anti-Snap and my heat protectant from L'Oreal is in my hair. And so now we're going to start blow drying. My crop clip is like, what is happening here? Whatever, it still works. I think it still works. Alright, so... I'm gonna start in the back section and I'm just gonna detangle one more time. And then I'm going to spray my Kenra Blow Dry Advanced Thermal Protectant. So yeah, another heat protectant, but this is also supposed to help dry your hair faster. So I'm just gonna spray some of that. Oh, ooh. This smells nice. All right, so the rest of the clip is going to be muted because who wants to hear a blow dryer, right? I'm done with one side and I'm mostly side. So this is this side, which is my left, probably your right. And it's nice and flowy and straight. So remember, if your blow dry ain't right, your flat iron ain't gonna be right. So when you blow dry your hair, your roots should already be bone straight. If it is not, get you another blow dryer. Now, I do like my, um, what is that, my Kiss blow dryer, but baby, like I said in my um, perm rod video, this is a Dominican blowout blow dryer. This blow dryer gets so hot that it singes my fingers. Like my hands are super duper red right now because this gets so hot. I was even thinking about getting a glove to use this because that's how hot this gets. And after every section, I kind of like <laughs> turn it off and let it cool down a little bit while I'm working in another section because baby, I feel like this tooth right here is leaning to the side. Like it's already starting to like deform my comb. Baby, listen. If you could find that blow dryer, um, I'll leave the name of it in the description box. Couldn't find it on Amazon or anywhere else. I've had that blow dryer since junior high school. So if you can find it, that's the blow dryer for you, baby. If you want your roots, your roots to look like you already flat ironed them, this blow dryer right here. 
and I am using the kiss attachment for it. Okay, now I'm gonna do a cool shot uh, with my paddle brush and I'm gonna do high fan and cool air. the flat ironing process so the way I flat iron my hair is different than the way that I blow dry it so when I blow dry I blow dry in four sections and when I flat iron I flat iron in three sections so I'm gonna section off the back section of the front doesn't have to be perfect And then I'm going to work on the front. So I usually work on the back, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to work on the front so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So I pretty much just go across. And my ends are horrible. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Ite Butter Shine just a little bit a little goes a long way with this stuff so just oh i dropped it even that might be too much let me take some of that off and this just gives my hair added protection and shine and my hair is so flowy after I use this butter shine. I mean it's flowy after my blow dry as you can see but yeah love this butter shine stuff and again a little goes a long way with this so do not overdo it alright so I'm gonna start right here and I take very small sections very very small sections and I use either a round brush or one of these so I'm just gonna use my goodie brush today because I just feel like that's just gonna work 
for me today. So I just comb out the section, take my brush, and I'm going to do the chase method with this. And I only go over my hair once or twice. So for that section, once is good enough. And I just continue to do this on my entire head until I am done. I cannot wait to cut these ends, baby, to cut these ends. Because boy, they are snaggy. Bone straight. Love it. Where did I put my clip off? And no, that is not my hair burning. That is the butter shine. And I don't know, I can't say enough good things about this butter shine, but I know y'all see that shine. Love it. And it doesn't weigh my hair down like the uh, serums do. So my hair is and with one pass baby listen I'll say it again if your blow dry ain't right because you can already see my roots is already straight so just putting that heat on it from the flat iron is just making it even flatter my hair is already straight so y'all I love straightening my hair. I don't do it often, but when I do it, I be hype as hell. And you know how most naturals go over their roots like 5,000 kajillion times? I don't have to do that because my blow dry is right. Them roots is already straight, baby. I don't have to go over them 50,000 times. I'm good. Get the let just look, look just honey. I'm gonna show y'all one more again, and then I'm going to come back with the results. Oh, and the reason why I use the brush instead of the rat tail comb is because, one, my rat tail comb is not heat resistant. 
and neither is my brush but two I feel like my hair comes out a lot smoother when I use the brush because the brush has more bristles than the comb has teeth so yeah so it's not any hair that's gonna be left out of getting straight Oh baby, these ends, these ends, baby, these ends. So yep, this is what we got going on. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna come back to you guys with the results and my length check so that we can see how much my hair has grown from my last trim which was October, my last press, which was September, and compare it to now, I'm super duper excited about this. And I do go over my edges again at the end, so I'll, I'll show you guys that, but. Girl, girl, yes. Finally. We is done. So this is what it looks like. All flat ironed out and my hair did grow and I'm super duper 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 excited about it. Hey, I don't know how to act. Alright, so <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how I get the uh front pieces to be a little bit straighter you do not have to do this but i do so this is what i do i just section off that little section and as you can see where my hair was breaking off at it grew in so hopefully this don't kill it but i just really quickly just get as close as i possibly can to them see that boom and then i do the same thing on this side so as you can see the little little kinky kinks you can use a um if you have a hot comb you could do this with a hot comb too all right this is not cooperating like this it's a small section of hair and then oh on this side you can really see where my hair broke off because you could see where like all of that is gone you see it this side was worse than that side i don't even know if i should put extra heat on this side you know what yeah i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it not gonna do it we're just gonna leave the curls there on the edges because i'm scrolling hey you guys so this concludes the video of how i blow dry and straighten my hair i so far love the results uh, my hair feels very lightweight and it's very flowy. It's not, you know, weighed down by any of the new products that I've tried. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be trimming my hair, so that's going to be a separate video. 
I'll leave the link to that in the description as well as the end cards at the end of this video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!